Okay, hey y'all, it's another episode of Broken Record DMV. It's your girl, Crystal Renze. And today I have a friend, a very talented young lady. She is a social media um, person for the WNP, uh, WNBA. Look, y'all, it's, it's a little, it's been a long it's day. It's a tongue tie. <laughs> it's, it's the WNBA, the Love Athlete podcast host, and she also does um, sport reporting. So I have here Tykeer Carter. Hi. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Yes, Super girl. excited. Yes. Love the setup and so all that. So pretty. I love you, girl. You're giving me summer vibes. Hotties. I mean, it's hot outside. It today. is. My ass I think this is about to be like the last week where we have like this Fall. nice weather, oh but- God. I'm kind of, exp- I want that. Yeah. I've been telling her I need to sit my ass down. Yeah, I feel that. I'm just like, I don't think it's ever been this hot here in November. Like, since it I've been it. alive. Like, I don't feel that way. So. Not since you have been alive. I'm weak <laughs> as fuck. No, no since I'm he, so it's serious. It's global warming because they be saying that, like, LA and places like that are getting, they're colder than here right now. Yeah. And I've noticed because we usually have snow around this time. It's legit 80 degrees. I love it. Yeah. I can take this. Yeah, like, now. I'm cool with it, but I also bought, like, my fall drip and stuff, mm. right? So I'm like, damn, am Can I going to be able to wear it? Oh, you yeah. will. It's coming. <laughs> I feel like what's going to happen is that every course, I mean, it's already happening. Everything going to shift. So you're going to be able to use yeah. them, fall, them them outfits, but it's going to be like now fall is going to like start December. Yeah. It's probably going to be a, a cold ass winter though. That's fine. I got shit to edit. I got <laughs> shit to do at home. All right, y'all. So yes, um, we're, we already got into it. So you could tell them a little bit of more about what you do and you know, you got some games coming up. You better go back into the season. So yeah. how's that all playing out and working out for you? Yeah, it's been cool. So I'm a social media manager mm-hmm. for the WNBA. Okay. Um, publishing content on all of our channels and okay. then i also help create the content come up with ideas with it um, i follow her on tiktok them should be she be doing it's TikTok. fun i've been enjoying it and, like just mm-hmm. getting better at like tiktoks and stuff like that my, my only thing is i feel bad sometimes because i don't have enough time or want to for real for real yeah. to do like my own content Dang. but that's something that i want to work on and like get better at just really documenting like the things that i do and continue to yeah. make my own content in the midst of helping others other and building brands. build my brand while i'm building other big brands girl i feel like that's all of our struggles right now like we yeah. all are trying to like still make it and you know be entrepreneurs or business you know young all right, you know, we're, we're getting to that age, but it's like, damn, we're giving so much to everything else. Right. So what is your long-term goal for, you know, um, like, where do you want to see yourself long-term? Yeah, so you mentioned that I do sports reporting. Correct. So, and that's what you, yeah, okay. I want to be a color analyst, full-time sideline reporter, okay. or doing a little vibe like this, sitting down with players and just chopping it up about different things, okay. whether that be life, lifestyle, culture, um, getting to know them better. I'm a people type of person, yeah. so I really love the authentic part of getting to know people and sitting down and understanding what it is that they love to do to in their them. passions. And then, let we, you know, to tell them you play basketball. Yes. For a little bit. Tell them a little bit about <laughs> yes, that because last time we talked about that. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, you know yeah. So I, I, was, <laughs> I was a D1 college basketball okay. player at Sacred Heart University, which okay. is in Fairfield, Connecticut. Ooh, um, what took you out there? basketball i had a full ride right, so okay. you know once you sign them papers i didn't that's my biggest blessing in this life is that wow. no one not my parents not me had to pay for me to go to school so that's good. the only thing Period. that i left with was some parking tickets and you know you ain't that, paid them yet i paid them i'll okay. go we can. it was <laughs> like it was like 486 dollars but i mean it's in connecticut so you could have just said kind of fuck it right no they was on me they was on you <laughs> they was not trying to, if i didn't pay it they wasn't gonna send me my diploma Oh, because it was on campus. It was on campus. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah they be on your ass. <laughs> they be all, they was on my ass, girl. They was not playing. Yeah. So for the next segment, it's called Pick Your Poison, where I ask my guests, you know, what's their favorite liquor, wine, and my guest doesn't really drink, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I think she's, she agreed to do something light. <laughs> Real light. So, y'all, we have, you know, Barefoot, and it's the white Zinfidel. I think, I like sweet, you know, I think it's pretty sweet. So, we're going to go ahead and get a cup of that. I'm so damn ghetto. I could just, I could just <laughs> talk regular, but I don't know. It's okay. We like it. We love it. <laughs> All right. Thank you. So we always try to cheers to something. Um, I know you got, you know, your season coming up, so we could cheers to success on that. Thank you. And just, you know, prosperity and everything we do. Even you too, Sky. Yes, love it. Yes. All right. Well, I think we did right for Mmm. <laughs> Mm. This is good. I think because it's, mm, it's, it's chill. Fla- yes, yeah, chill, but it's a little flat. 
but I like it. It's not bad. It's straight, yeah. Girl, I don't I think, think it'll, it'll it'll like get you there. I went like to a, Taco yeah. Rico or whatever the fuck it's called, girl. And you know you have that bad drinking night, and you just be like, the girl, I was fucked up. Two margaritas, <laughs> three tacos, and the tacos were so good. And it's like the mar, you know who don't want margaritas with their taco, right? Girl, I pulled up to the house in Virginia. I pulled up to the house and I just started feeling dizzy. I'm like, oh, it's nothing serious. I'm already about to be in the house. Girl, by the time I lay down, I try to lay down. I'm about to say, nope. <laughs> I said, oh, shit. So I had a bag and everything. So all that to say is that I actually like chill shit right now. I don't want nothing strong. That's nothing. hilarious. Yeah. Margaritas and stuff like that, especially at restaurants where you think they're going to try to dumb it down. Those do the most. sneak up on you. I yeah. couldn't believe it. I was. I had a plastic bag in my bed I was crying and I was like damn this is some shit I'm supposed to do for my birthday or like it was like I could see if it was a festivity or Howard homecoming <laughs> and I was fucked up but it was Taco Rico like I, I was about to give y'all a 10 star but now I give y'all a 6.5 <laughs> broken record this is where I choose out of the first bowl you know motivational quote I'm gonna tell you guys what I think it means and then I'll pass it to my guest talk here to say what she thinks it means okay so we back at it we back at it uh what type of deep shit they about to have me talk about today okay y'all so today's quote is only one mountain can know the core of another mountain mm. frida Kahlo. girl my brain ain't even hit. <laughs> read it again only okay. one oh. mountain can know the core of another mountain correct okay um I, I, okay go ahead i want you to go go ahead first give me some time i feel like that means Two people have to go through something, but only like you first have to go through it to know how I'm feeling or understand it. So okay. you understand my core because you also went through the same that thing. that mountain or that tribulation, that trial or whatever. Okay. Or it, it doesn't even have to be a bad thing, but it's like Just in you general. take a walk in my shoes and you'll understand this is what I went through to get to the this core, point. Yeah. Okay. I Okay. I agree. I th- like I said, it's just all opinion. I th- I was just in my brain. I'm like, okay, how am I understanding it? I feel like it's basically like, you know how we're females, entrepreneurs in the business world and around a lot of whatever it is we're going through, um, trying to m- matriculate in our life right now. Mm-hmm. It's like we we might understand each other more than someone else. Okay. If that makes sense. Like, I'm yeah. not saying that we're the, we're the mountains, if that makes sense. Like, yeah. I understand what we you mean. We get each other. Yeah. So we it's get like, each other because we we, we are that other, we are the yeah, same anatomy. Exactly. Yeah. And not just anatomy as females, but like I just put that as like a, you know Black women. It black could be women, exactly. Categorized into Exactly. Anything. In that yeah. in that sense. So no matter what you're talking about, like it's like a basketball player understanding a basketball player. Yeah. You know, or an entrepreneur understanding an entrepreneur. Like that's what I feel like it means. If that, that makes sense. Like that makes sense. Kind of have you're in the same field. You're in the or same field or background like or whatever it, it, it means. It, it, yeah. That's what I mean. I don't know. My brain right now today, y'all. <laughs> but you know, that that's what I think it means. One mountain, you know, the core. And I, when I say core, that's why I try to throw in like, you know, us being women and black. Cause it's like, I can, it's more in depth of mm-hmm. what you might be going through. Like, we're not in the same field specifically, but I can kind of understand, like, some things you might have to go through being a woman and a black woman, like, having to prove yourself. And, like, I know that, like, the mm-hmm. core of what you might really be going through that, you know, you probably, you know, people don't see on the outside or you don't talk about or anything like that. So, or like, right. that, that's why I use entrepreneur as another example. If this was a little bit confusing, like, you know, someone who works, and not to down anybody, but, you know, if you work a nine to five, you probably don't understand what an entrepreneur it's going, it's going through. through. Y'all yeah. both working, but you don't get the core right. of that person or what they might be going through. So Absolutely. Ta-da! <laughs> All right, y'all. So we're about to dive in deeper. My guest is going to pick out of this bowl. A couple Ooh. questions for us to, you know, dive in deeper to. So go ahead, girl. All right. Yeah, you can shake it up and stuff. I got to do it. <laughs> um, okay, hopefully this is the one. Okay. All right. <laughs> Could you survive? <laughs> Could you survive with a flip phone for a year? Fuck no, not for a year. Nah, not I, a year. I can't do the trap phone for a year. I mean, we say that like we haven't already, but I feel like. But now, we were younger too. Exactly. Like that was the status quo. That is what society was like. That's the times we were yeah. in. Now it's like technology rules. A year. I know. That's like. 
fuck no i ain't got time to even be clicking all in there buttons and stuff like that yeah what about my pictures but i actually have a um my first guest diamond she actually has a flip phone mm-hmm like full-time full-time well yeah full-time so that's what i was about to uh add to the question like would you be able to live a year with a flip phone but you had an ipad or yeah that's what it's called ipad I mean, I guess that's cool, but like, I don't want to be carrying around no fat iPad. Like, I, you can't put no, that. No, the iPads, they're not fat. They like. They, so she has a, I have an iPad. Way. Okay. Yeah, I have an iPad. I have a MacBook. I have okay. a work computer. So, like, I just, I have everything that you could think of as far as technology goes, or okay. at least I feel. I have two phones. Like,. I don't Not, know. Oh, yeah, I'm about to say you got two phones, bitch. I yeah, two but phones. I have a, but I have a work phone work and then phone. I have my personal phone. Yeah. So, I I don't think I, I could don't think I could for do it. I think Not right now. now <laughs> like if I was like that hurt or like down bad or whatever. But like, did Girl, Diamond, got did Diamond say like why she does it? She yeah she um well from my understanding she it's her way of like kind of disconnecting from you know just the the um, meta she called it metaverse. That's, that's kind of cool Social media though. and stuff okay. like that. And I, I understand. love that. And it made me think yeah. like what I... I, th- I don't even know if that's why we chose that question to put in there, but I don't think... I still I, wouldn't, but like I more power to Diamond because yeah. that's cool. Like, you know, that's Only something way I that would makes her feel. Yeah. Is if I feel like, or I, I know that I'm at a place in life where I don't necessarily... Well, right now we are working and we're grinding. It's like, yeah. what the fuck? Like, I got to do all this content. But if, if I was put in a position where like... My business was running without without me and necessarily having to do everything, and this that it was like delegated properly, and I could chill. Then yeah, because who the fuck like whoever I'm supposed to be talking to, I could talk to them or yeah. get to them with that little ass flip phone. But no, nah, I'm not no real, be... If there's no real incentive, I ain't got mm-hmm. what the fuck I'm doing with a flip phone. Now they saying yeah. for some money or like this and that, then of course, of course, I'll be able to because I don't want nobody to think like oh, we our age can't deal without phones and stuff like that. It's not that. It's just that they've created everything to be on a fucking phone so it's yeah like, so so therefore why. we really diamond is doing it but i'm saying in essence yeah we weren't made to still be on flip phones correct yeah okay just like there's no beepers or pagers or people don't use that i know i couldn't anymore. do that shit. Like, a pager imagine me getting a page and going to get go to a fucking uh to a phone booth a phone to, booth call just to call somebody like, yeah what if it's an emergency yeah i couldn't do that so the answer for me is no i couldn't do it for a year maybe a week but i couldn't do it for a year all right, we saw another question. All right. Mm-hmm. It, was, it was chill. It was, it was interesting to know what people's perspective are. Because like I said, she really got a flip phone. I was like, okay, I respect it. I really be wanting to know how she go day to day, girl, for real, for real. What are your <laughs> emotional weaknesses? But what is this cat? I'm weak as hell. <laughs> I don't know if y'all it can see a cat. This, but like, yeah. My friend, okay, so I've gotten my questions from a bunch of different people. Some of mine... <laughs> Some are um, from a friend, and he sent it to me, and I don't know. It just had fucking an emoji. Emojis <laughs> on it. I don't know why there's a cat on it, but yeah. What are some of your? It was said emotional strengths, right? Weaknesses. Weaknesses. Ooh. I mean, emotional weaknesses. I, okay. I care too much. Mm. Like when I care about you, I care about you, and I'll go above and beyond for you, and that could be like a curse too. Okay. Like I am emotionally in tune with people but almost to a fault to where it's like i'm not going to say you could take advantage of me because there comes a time but like you might be taking advantage of me but i love you so much that i'm not even thinking about about it like that like you're in a sense like if i if i tell somebody else the situation like the scenario or whatever they'll be like they're manipulating you (laughs) you know um so yeah i think i've been doing better with that I think so. I I have been in this space and like age where it's like, okay, I'm not old, so to speak, but like I'm about to be 27 (laughs) and I have been like overly blunt about things. I have been very intentional with my words and how I feel. I have been straight up about things because I just want to be a better version of myself. That doesn't mean that I fall short of that or Mm -hmm. um that I don't fall short of that or okay. I, you know, I'm not a, a failure because I'm not perfect or anything, exactly. but I am trying to be better with like, what do you want from me? Can I provide that with you or, or for you or no? Like, yeah. it, are we wasting one another's time? And that could be friendship relationship wise. So I, I'm trying to get better with just being um, straight up, like, especially with extending my mm-hmm. time to things too. Like, can I 
fit this into my schedule, schedule or no. Yeah. I had a hard time at one point just saying yes to everything. And that's draining. Like sometimes you, you have to learn what your, what your yeses can be, what your no's can, can be, be yeah. and be okay with that and still go on. But I can't do this today, but can we do X, Y, Z? You know what yeah. I mean? Um, Cause you got to put yourself first. Like, yeah. What? And, and that's, that's an emotional yeah. weakness of mine. I put others before myself all day long. Okay. I would say mine is I'm not that emotional. Okay. I know people I'm like not that. That emotional, like I okay, yeah, I have emotions, but that's a weakness. I don't I don't even know if that's a weakness because I've seen it work for me so much that it's a strength, but of course we're all human, so at some point it's like, okay, bitch, you're gonna have to be a little bit more emotional to I I say yes and I say yes and no to that because okay. I met a person um not too long ago where she doesn't like hugging like she doesn't like being touched like that's oh, wow. like none of that and she just was like that's just me like my friends have adapted to that like mm-hmm. i but the thing where i was like so where is the common ground where you can put yourself to the side to do those things because yeah. i feel like if it comes down to it and you have to lend some type of emotion like you'll probably be able to tap into it and she was just like i just don't like I don't want to be. That's to be in her business. I mean, if something it happened, because usually stuff that. like that. No, happen she then... she was just like, no, I'm just not emotionally like in tune. Like, uh, she was also describing like when she first had a kid. That that's what I was like. You I'm don't like to be touched, but you had a kid. But she was like, my, my like daughter. That. She was like, my daughter gets sad that I don't want to hug her, hug her. and. I'm like, does she have that in her family? Not that I'm not like, we're gonna make it. Yeah, about her, but, but I'm like, okay, your mom is like, you don't want to hug your daughter, but she was like, she under, she doesn't understand. I like, I love her with everything that's mm-hmm. in me, but like, if she stays in my bed too long, like, I don't want her beside um, me, yeah, like, you um, know. And I just thought that was like the weirdest thing, but she was like, I want my daughter to understand, like, I would do any anything. and everything for her, but I'm just not that emotional type of person where I don't want people in my space to that extent. I don't want to be touched, but like, I love you. But she was yeah. like, you know, but my daughter then countered and was like, there's some days where I just need a hug from my mom. Yeah. And it's like, I know you feel uncomfortable doing that Definitely, to me. Yeah. So, that I feel like I don't know if she's still working on it or not mm-hmm. or if there's like a common ground that she can come with it but I say all this to say that there's just some things that are different about people yeah. and you have to accept them for what they are and try to find that that balance I feel like there's always I mean that's why I want to work on it and I know it's a weakness in a sense even though it's a strength as well but it's a weakness because we're all human everybody wants love so at the end of the day when you kind of avoid of emotional um, emotions it's like some something happened for me when you were talking I'm like Cause I think about certain things that make me emotional. I, I mean, I got a business. People try to play me and stuff like that, mm-hmm. or just me having so much from since I was young, and people wanting to use the shit out of me. Of course, like I have emotions. I just can't show them like that because the me- morning, I, the moment I show that, like people just take it and run with it, and it's like I don't want to then retract it back. It's like, bro, like if I give you love, I genuinely want to give you love, so I can't just give it to you up front, right? If that makes sense. Like I have it. Once I fuck with you. I fuck with you, and it's very hard to un- be, you know, to take that back from me. But I would say my dad, like that nigga, like you said, he loved the shit out of me. I, all, mm-hmm. all of us, like my dad, phenomenal man. But he wasn't a like an affectionate person like that. So it kind of you feel yeah, like it trickled down. I feel down like to it trickled you. down. Like I feel yeah. like, damn, you can't tell. Like I'll tell my dad I love him. He like he's the type of guy to be like, love you too. Like. <laughs> Real she, quick. She said she would say the same to like her daughter and her daughter would be like, I love you, mom. And she would just say ditto. Imagine your mom. Like, I don't know how, cause I, like I said, I'm an emotional person. <laughs> and she was like, I did the, the word like makes me cringe. And I'm like, I know it's, I'm like, but it's a word though. Like it, I, I mean, it's a word with a lot of meaning behind it and stuff yeah. like that. But it's like, you can't even messed her up to tell somebody who you know that you that, love that, that you love up. that you love them, literally you know no, i'm working on it i'm working on being softer because not just because other people want me to be it's just i genuinely like you said if, if sometimes i don't know where that comes from so I'm right. like, i try to learn myself a little bit and be like okay well it's not that you don't want to be emotional you just probably don't know how to or don't have the tools so i try Right, and I'll be having days where I'm like, man, fuck this emotional <laughs> shit, man. It's just the, for the birds. Like I don't like nothing. Yeah. Like, and and then also the reason why I'm not emotional is because 
I feel like for anybody, that's like probably the easiest way to fuck with somebody mentally. Yeah, I, I, like, I, will, I will vouch for that. I am a simp. Like I am super like emotional. I get I'm not going to say I get a, attached to people because I also know like once you get to that point with me mm-hmm. where it's like, oh, uh, I don't like you. It's, it's I am cold. Like, done, done. like, yes, I could I could walk past you and like you're not even there. You can be in a room with me. Mm-hmm. I won't look your way. I like, see that. <laughs> I, I, I am cold. I love it. But other than that, though, but I think we're similar in a sense where it's like I got all the love for you in the world. But my weakness is like if you get to that point with me, it's done. done it's done. nothing I can do for you. Okay, yeah. so you're more like an after, and I'm more like in the beginning. Yes, I, I'm, you I'm start with from that. The fucking yes, you're gonna have to break through these motherfucking walls. Right. Okay. Um. I mean, do we have? I think that's like because this is strengths. I'm like, I mean, weaknesses. It. I mean, it. I don't have. If no, you feel as though that's your weakness, no, I'm saying, like, do I have yeah. another one? Hmm. I think that's pretty. Like, I mean, do I have another emotional, 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 emotional? Sometimes I'd be like, damn, what's an emo- emotion? Uh, um. No, I think that's pretty much, that's probably the biggest weakness I can think of. That's probably, what like, what would you consider an emotion? Like, name the emotions. I would say the emotions is like, I think I can better give like a scenario. Scenarios like, than actual. If, if someone passes, how do you react to that? Like, I have Ooh, a, I that's have another a, one. I have a friend who, like one of our our friends he 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 just passed and it was like a like i feel it but i can't I really can't feel, feel it because i'm i'm not an emotional person and me like i i was sympathetic sympathetic right i i was close to him and i feel like i felt it more because i more so felt like the trauma behind the situation mm-hmm. like damn like this this happened like you know i i think about the age i think about that or Everything. whatever and okay. he more so like I can't emotionally like tap into it because I try to think about like the good times and stuff like that. But it's, he's like, I, I don't want to go to like the funeral because it'll put me in a place in that a place. I can't come out of. Exactly. And I'm more so like, you know, pay my respects type of person and, and and keep it pushing. But I don't mind feeling the emotions and the sympathy that comes with it because I feel like that's life and that's who I am as a person. And I'm not going to try to hide from that. Um I'm emotional. <laughs> like yeah. I, I will break down and cry over some shit. Like I'm, and I'm fine with that. Um, and I think that's what things come down to is just knowing who you are, but also yeah. like, can you step outside of yourself sometimes yeah. too to relish and, and come into moments? I'm glad you said that because I, I think I don't, I don't do good with some symp- like sympathy. Mm-hmm. That's, I feel like I'm oh, talking to a damn uh, a therapist. <laughs> Ah, no, 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 in a bad way. Not in a bad. This is a podcast. We keeping it raw, like. But I feel like that's another reason why I have the podcast. I'm always saying reasons why I have the podcast so people can really understand me and the brand. But it's to also because I do feel like just from people seeing me on social media, they just get this one side of me, and I am in a place where I, you know, I really actually don't want to be in the face of shit. I really want to be behind my business and not be the mm-hmm. face. But because we're in a time where you kind of have to be the face, I want people to really know who I am. Right. I'm not that sympathetic. Like, and I need to work on it because I feel like that's probably, and it's so crazy. Like, I, I do try to wonder, like, why people connect with me. I know I'm an interested person, this and that. But I do notice that um, it took uh, me and my friends a long time for them to be open to me because, like, and another thing I don't understand, like, I'm type of person, like, how can I help right now? Like, if you tell me something's going on, God forbid you lost somebody, I'm the first person to, how what you need, you need me to come get this, that I'm, like, active. But to feel and be like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. I can't do it. See? I can't do I'm it. I'm not going to say we're offices because I do both. Okay. Like, I'll sit there and I'll cry with you and I'll hold you. Like, I am a... Um, I don't know what the word is for it. Like, you see someone crying, like... Impact. Okay. Yes, I'll start crying. Too. Like um, when we was at the vigil the other day, like someone just talked, and I'm like, oh. See, sometimes man. that that gets like, me. You know, if it like touches that, my that, soul, that gets, you know what I mean. If it touches that, my that, soul, then I cry. That's me. Like, and I, but I have no shame in it either. Cause yeah. like it's, it don't even be shame. It's, it's like okay. I don't know how. Yeah, and that's cool. Yeah, too. but I think the first part in getting better at something is understanding that. Okay, I don't know how. Do you want to know how? And then do you want to, you know what I mean? Like I it, haven't it, tried. It's a, it's, a, it's a want to. Like, so like even when I'm talking to like my friends or like my dude, whoever I'm talking to, 
I, I mean, I'm in the process now. I sort of, I'm like a comedian in my head. Like I dead ass be like, all right, Chris, this is how you need to learn. Like you need, you need you're aware of this one, and now you need to practice. So I catch so do you myself. Laugh at awkward situations? Is that you? Like not like I'm not, not, I'm not like, gonna say like laugh, but like everybody else would be like jaw like serious about it, and then it's you know, you're like. <laughs> Um, yeah, okay, um, because I was like, damn, I don't know, I want to talk about my dad, I'm not, I'm really open to talking about pretty much anything, so mm -hmm. I'm gonna just talk about my dad a little bit, um, at the funeral, right, I've never been to a funeral in my life, oh, wow, ever, yeah. and every time I tell my friends that, they be like, oh my god, you ain't have people to die, no, I just, like you said, I'm the type, of, I'm a creative person, I don't want to ever, if I go there, I don't know what it'll do to me, and I do have certain fears that I'm open with. I don't know what it'll do to me. I don't know if I'll go into depression. I can, I still today, I can memorize everything that's happened. I'm that create, like that, what the fuck? I can like You're visually, in tune. yeah, I'm visually, yeah. Um, I can visually repeat it in my head or whatever the case is. So long story short, um, my brother, anybody that knows my, when my brother Michael, he was just standing at the casket and it was to the point where they were trying to go on to the next thing on the, um, the what's that the what the pamphlet whatever you give people um the obituary and stuff so we're mm -hmm. trying to go to the next one he was just standing there so it was an awkward ass moment where everybody i felt it maybe everybody nobody else felt it but i was just like boy if you gonna get your ass and i just started laughing a little bit like let me just go get my brother like and everybody else is more so like but i don't know I trying to like, let him feel that yeah but and, he was up and there you're too long, more so girl. like all right come on now hell yeah because yeah. she gotta get done at the end of the day you ain't the only one that feel it in here Maybe I'm, I'm not going to say it because when I say I'm too real, then people are like, bitch, what the fuck you mean too real? Like, no, no, nigga, no. All right, we trying to get to the next thing on the list of things to do. And you here standing like you the only one that's losing a nigga. Yeah. So move your okay. ass. You're harsh. <laughs> move your <laughs> ass so we can like come here with us and sit down with us and let's, let's grieve over here. You right there standing there like they, these people can't, they got another person to bury in two hours. Can't get your ass over here. I got you. So you're, you're more like, we, we on a time frame right now, like. Lock in. I wasn't thinking the time. <laughs> yeah, it but I understand. Moment, like I was yeah. like, and I was, you, but, but you couldn't, but you couldn't connect with how your brother was feeling. Correct. I got you. Correct. Yeah, and and I and to me, because I've dealt with so many different people, there's nothing wrong with that. But yeah. if you feel like there's something, you know, I think nothing was wrong with it. I just like, I just laughed. You laughed about in a in a in a time. So where I'm that it, girl. it wasn't that. Yes. Okay. I got something you. crazy. If something <laughs> crazy, crazy happened. Now, don't get me wrong. I, I could, I could feel like I'm human, but that's why I was thinking to myself. I was like, literally getting ready. I'm like, damn. Like, I don't think I could be a comedian, but I so understand comedians. Like, they take the most harshest things, and people think that they're not, they're not, not empathetic. That's why right now everybody's so damn sensitive. Like, comedians can't even tell the damn joke without everybody be like, oh, you offended me, you offended me. That's their job in a sense. Like, they're supposed to take real yeah. life shit that usually people don't want to talk about or is seems to da -da -da and talk about it and go in depth with it and i'm just that type of person like yeah okay so i'm working on it though to the point where like you know sometimes i'm like i ask myself how are you feeling today you know trying to get into people's da -da 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 and let me ask you this do you really care though no yeah no 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 <laughs> No, see, I care right now. I don't think I hurt this stuff. I care. I care. I'm sorry. I, I mean, care because it seems like like you're you're working on it to like check I, something yeah. off as opposed to like I'm working on it because. But like, I'm you in know the beginning. I mean? It's gonna feel like a check off because genuinely, yeah. that's why I'm like I'm too. I'm raw as far as <laughs> I'm gonna tell you. I, I'm not gonna tell you I'm practicing because that's not part of the practice. I'm not gonna yeah. tell you like hey, I'm practicing the, and then let you talk because you probably won't talk. But in my mind, I'm very honest that I'm practicing. I don't that's cool. I'm very honest. I'm like, look, this is not my steez, but I'm willing. I always tell people, give me okay, if I'm willing. willing. I like if that I'm word. willing yeah. to just try, but it'd be hilarious in my head. And so that'd be like, damn, I'm just staring at you. I already know. <laughs> Even when I started the podcast in the beginning, it's like, I love, that's, this is so, so, that's why this whole thing for me is more than just a podcast. I'm still learning about myself and learning about people because usually when I talk to people, you know, you, you move around, you look around, you can stare at them, but the podcast, I really have to look at people. Yeah. And that can be so oh, awkward for me. And I'm in my you. life, yeah. I'm in my mind like, okay, is yeah. it that you don't care what they're talking about or is it that you just, oh, you have ADHD, what do you got? But I'm working on it. And I, it's working, no, seriously, it's working though. I'm, I'm here to give you all some testimony. It's working because I noticed that, especially my friends, my mom, my brothers, everyone's like a little bit more open to coming to me and telling me stuff. Like, okay. deep. And they always were because I am still a confide, like people confide in me regardless because I don't tell people secrets. I'm very personal. But as far as I've been known to the difference, it's been a little bit more deeper, you know. But it takes time, which is cool. But that's what I, that's what I would say is my weakness. I'm okay. not sympathetic and I don't really got emotions like that. That's okay. Yes. I like it. 
Thank you. That was a good breakdown. Thank you. Thank you. So y'all know Crystal runs it a little bit more now. Okay. <laughs> So choose another question. We're gonna go into some depth about some more shit. Right. Shake that shit up though. I don't I like the emotional questions, but back to back. Yeah, that was a I don't rough. know. And I, I like I don't want that one. I I've been adding questions in there, but I've been trying not to go too crazy. I don't want people on the podcast like just answering some. Maybe it's just questions. me though. It could be. It All could right. be, but let's see. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Do you slide in the DMs best or worst experience? Ooh. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> Yikes. Um, do you slide in the DMs? Yeah, I do. I'm it. weak as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I hit you with the what's up. What's but late like? but not as a late no. Nah. Okay, why? But I just feel like honestly, I'm in a place in my life once again where I feel like, like nah, I mean, I say that. <laughs> nah, I Sorry. feel like I feel like I'm cool. I feel okay. like I'm pretty and you can slide in mine. Like Period. Yeah. I'm, I'm not gonna do it. Do I slide? I slid. I don't slide, but I slid. <laughs> okay, that, that's what I should you say. Know what I, I have slid before, I, but I'm not a slider. I'm not a slider. Yeah, I don't I'm not sliding. a shoot your shot every okay. time. Like, but, come to me. <laughs> so I, I wasn't a, even a participant of sliding, sliding, slid. But you know, I was I, I was getting a little bit tired because I was trying really on some real shit. I am a work in progress. That I'm I'm aware of it. Mm-hmm of a lot of things of myself, regardless of what people might think. So I knew that I was complaining a lot about the type of guys that were going to smack at me. You get what I'm saying? Felt. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting, I was getting so like, and mind you, I'm, what I mean by I'm a worker, like I'm a, I'm, I'm a cautious, like I'm aware of me working on myself. Cause it's like, instead of just blaming it on the guys, do something like change, like, you know what I'm saying? Change something about it. If you don't like, so I was like, okay, can I, I can't, because these guys, and the, what I mean by that is like they would slide into my DM, right? And then I give them the time of the day, whatever the case is, and I feel like they wasn't putting in the work that needed. Like, it's like, and then I would hold them to the standard of, because I could, okay, so in a relationship, I could always go 100 miles, like, and just show you who I am, show you all the good that are, but I'm like, you still in my DM, so you should prove to me why. I should give a fuck. I just think that's a really make it out of the DMs. Yeah, pretty much, <laughs> pretty much. Or if you make it out of the DMs, you know, stay consistent or whatever the case is. But I'm just like, regardless, you you made the first move, you shot your shot, da da da. So, and I'm not saying like a guy should prove it forever, but it's like until it's made clear that okay, you've made your case. I see why you you know you really fuck with me, whatever the case is. No, guys was not doing it. So long story short, I was like, all right, fuck it. Like, you know, I literally was like. Let me change up the scenario. Like, I know what I'm giving. I know what I want to give off. So let me slide in some idea. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I wasn't just going to do it any any guy. I was like, you know, I was like, you know, when that time come, I'm not going, I'm not just going to sit around and wait for a guy to slide in my DM or whatever case is. Like, when I see something I like, I'm going to slide into DM. Now, how you slide in the DM, girl? I don't be talking. I don't, like I said, I'm, like I said, I'm not really an emotional person like that. Like, oh my God. That's hey, funny. No, I'm like. I, sh- I literally shot my my shot. I sent an emoji of a shot. <laughs> Nigga shooting a shot. Badly. <laughs> Period. Like, that's how, how I fucking did it. And then he shot it. He, he sent it to me back. And I was like, bet. Now we both make a shot. And it's so crazy because he actually just texted me today after like a month. So we going to see what the fuck that's talking about. But yeah. so That is funny. And the reason why I did that is because now I put the responsibility on me. Mm-hmm. To like give that same energy that I want a guy to give me when he shoots his shot, right? And I was very consistent. Like I would always tell the guy, like I shot my, like I wouldn't say it like that, but I would like let him know, like, hey, like um, you know, I'm I'm on your ass, <laughs> I'm on your ass because I shot my shot, so I have no problem showing you the type of attention that I need the or consistency that I need these guys to show when they shoot their shot, right. to a female. So that's why I slid. I'm not a slider, right. but I definitely slid, right. And I don't mind sliding every now and then. Like, if it's worth it, I don't mind it. But it is hard for me because, like I said, back to the emotional stuff, I don't know how to necessarily get break myself down enough to be emotional. Like, I'm a more impressive person. Like, if you're with me, I'll start with the eye contact. You know what I'm saying? And when I when I lock the eye, then I might walk past you and yeah. then do stuff like that. But I'm not like, uh, I don't know how to get real emotional. I'm like, You don't want to really text and stuff. No, I don't really like texting. But I, I like when I don't like somebody I text. Of course, I'm not. But I don't. I don't know if it's related. But I'm just not mushy like that. Like yeah. I am a mushy person, but I'm not like like I said upfront mushy. 
So, like I said, I mean, a guy might think, I think that's hilarious to shoot yeah. a shot like that. That's just hilarious. That's like, it's funny. It's yeah. cute. It's cute. Yeah. And that's my type of cute. I love type of shit like that. I'm not like super mushy. So, I am. Um, I'm not super mushy. I I I, I am a PDA. I, I want to <laughs> hold hand. Like I, oh, that I like is holding me. hands. Yeah, that's what I'm like, saying. I guess it's just I I I'm mushy. Like I want you up under me. I don't know if she you knows. Do you consider that mushy? Like I okay. want to. I I want you, I, I want to, to live in your skin. I'm weak. Not in the skin. <laughs> no, I'm the type. No, not in the. Okay, so I'm like a. I like somebody in my in like my 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 space. Like, me for example, if yeah. me and you was talking, right, and you're very attractive, like, mm-hmm. if me and you was talking, right, I would love for you to always be here in a sense. That's Mind you, I, I would like for you to be busy, though. Yeah, I would always like for you to be here, but I don't want to always be up under you. No, yes. I'm the type of girl like, okay, you working or you doing your thing, I'll come, you know, that's how I am. But, but it's, it, it gets a time at night where you here with me. Oh, yeah. 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 That's how I am. We, we, we locked up, but like, for example, like sleeping, like, you know how people sleep, you sleep like that. That's how I am at first. And then I'll be like, and then, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, you okay, gotta move, okay. Slim. it's hot. I don't feel <laughs> no way when, if a guy does it to me and that's why I'm like, it's like, if a guy like kind of like, um, I'm under him and he changes his position. I feel no way about it. Cause I'm like, bad. I needed my space. <laughs> I was getting hot, baby. Like, I wouldn't know what the fuck was going on. Like, I'm perfectly okay with that. But. That's- Funny. yeah like i i think i'm more of a mental person like if i know we fuck with each other then all that mushy stuff is like i'm a i'm a mental person like if i fuck with you mentally like that's all i look at you and get horny just off the look you ain't even gotta touch me so that's probably why i'm not mushy i don't know but yeah okay i i can agree with those sentiments and um that i've had good and bad experiences so oh, but i was, did, not, I was your, your worst experience so okay. mine's, mine was stand back on mine when you do yeah. it to us. So I'll, I'll like disclaimer, like I was in a long term relationship, like I'm not anymore or okay. whatever. But like you know, me and him, we still ooh, figuring things out. Boom, there we go. I'll okay. leave it at that. But um, I had like a guy where I saw like his picture. I was like, what is, I was like, damn, he fly. Like, I'm gonna just, <laughs> I'm gonna just tell him he fly. Period. So I was like, that's sexy too for a female to just do that. But I was, but but this is like not a good to me. It wasn't a good experience because mm. I'm thinking he gonna tell me like I'm fly back or some shit. So I was like, I didn't send him his picture or nothing. Like that's what people do to me. They okay. send me my picture and then they say something. And like sometimes it's cool, sometimes it's not. But like, um, I was like, damn, you so fly. I like your swag. And he replied back and he said, appreciate you. Do you know how that hurt the soul? Like you want to cry and Nigga, throw up and slide down a wall. I was like, but my friends Say was likewise like, but like something like, but that. like my friends was like, man, the man's so sassy these days. Bruh. Like he probably didn't even mean nothing. But I was like, but I don't like that. They was like, the men are acting like females or whatever. Blah blah blah. Like, blah. I was like, I was, I was like, honestly though, I was like, it could be that he might have not found me mm. cute, attractive. Like it could have been anything, and that's cool. Like yeah. that's how he felt. But I was like. I ain't doing that no more. <laughs> like I was like, you got it. That that humbled me quick. I would have. I mean, I get what you're saying. Like <clears throat> it does fuck with our egos a little bit. Like nigga, you know I'm fine. Don't play. Me. <laughs> you could have just been like likewise and kept it still cute and short without having. He said appreciate, appreciate you. I was like, like all like all these women just out here saying you just fine, and I'm just like another yeah. one of them. And it's like I didn't even say like he was. Fi- I was like you're fly. Like I like mm-hmm. your swag. I like your swag, and I like your swag. It could be with me, but nah. Yeah, I know each other. <laughs> like yeah. Okay. We have some mutual friends though, but okay. like his picture was like posted on like a like a popular page that like I follow type okay. shit. So I was like, okay, and it's like basketball players on it and stuff like that. So I just, it just happened to be on my timeline. Okay. So he was tagging it, and I went on his page. I was like, damn, he fly. Like he look like, uh, or whatever. But hmm. Appre- I appreciate weak. you. Yeah. So I mean, mine wasn't like this. I mean, I don't even remember the last time I slid in nobody DM, but this person I'm about to talk about. Same person that just texted me today threw me off, but <laughs> threw me off. Um, so it is a, gonna be a to be continued because I'm I'm, I'm I'm trying to see what's up. But at the same time, it's like it was only a bad experience because it started off good and then it kind of I don't I won't I won't say I, it, shit, he threw me off because at first I thought I, it backfired on me me going smack him because I thought that that would be it would work. For for my situation, I'm like, okay, everything's going good. I was like, I was so proud that I was like, you see, that's all you needed to do was slide in the DM. <laughs> that's all you need to do. Just take matters into your own hand. And then 
it's something about his ex to something. And anybody knows me, I don't talk. Like I said, I'm not emotional. Like I could talk about something, but I don't give a fuck. I really, yeah. I just don't know. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't use a different word, but I just don't care as much. So, and and it's not about, I'm, you, you're, you're talking to me now. So I never really talked about the ex, but the ex. Yeah, like you're like right that now, was, so. Yeah, I didn't talk about it. And yeah. it's like, why do you think I'm worried about the other female? But then it's like, that was the reason why it didn't work out. And I, I kind of was like, well, you know, I'm. I'm I'm consistent with you. I'm letting you know I study your DM because one of the biggest things that I am very good at is ghosting a motherfucker. <laughs> I'm so good at it. Like it's so it's bad. Like I don't even. It's so good, but it's bad. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like you know you, you can. I'm I'm doing a lot more self awareness, so I know I'm learning the things about myself. Um, but I'm you know I pull out out the bag when needed. So. I was, the reason why I said I backfired is because when he did certain things, and he wasn't really doing anything bad, but it was just things that I would usually ghost when somebody going to smack at me. Because it's like, oh no, you not even work, like you not even do what she's supposed to do. But I went smack at him, so I was like, I have, I can't ghost somebody I, I fucking went smack at. That doesn't even make sense. Like it's kind of, I, so I kept, you know, I was trying to be consistent, trying to show somebody, even if. It's the other way around, and I go see so you. Be consistent with me. You went into my DM, so I was being consistent and everything like that. And then I, when I really realized that the ex was in the way, and like, oh no, like I could be consistent, but you're not about to play with me. Period. You're not about to play with me. Mm-hmm. Don't don't be watching my stories, and you need to text me back. I I hate, hate that that with a passion. Like I hate it with a passion. I hate that. I don't know why. I, I and the reason why I hate it, and mind you, not like any anybody like. I don't mind if we're not talking. Go ahead, watch my story. If you're not, you don't have to text me back. Whatever, but baby, especially when you know I like you, and you, what? Yeah. You you do you you tap it through my life. You're playing with me. You're playing with me. <laughs> yeah. You kept talking to me. Oh what? No, I said nigga. Like I'm not an idiot. Now I'm not boo boo the fool. Just because I'm consistent, I told you I was consistent. Not because I'm just a bitch. Like I I feel like it started making it seem like not desperate, but it's like it came off like that. Especially when. People look at me from social media, and that's another reason why I'm my podcast because I don't like the feeling of how people perceive people on social media versus how they really are in real life. Mm-hmm. I'm not about to do all this that I'm doing right now on social media all the time, so you will never know the whole personality. But I feel like he saw me a certain way, and this is this is this is just my thought process. I'm not saying this is really what he was thinking. I'm just saying. You saw me somewhere on social media. You probably thought, oh, she a, she a this type of female. All these niggas want her. They're like, she probably bad, like hard to get. And then because I'm t- I'm consistent with you, you think that you now none of that is. None, I got it locked None in. of that. Yeah, oh, you yeah. got it locked in. None of that is real no more. And I'm like, hmm. okay. So I told him he was playing with me. And then, you know, I kind of just, I ended it. I was like, you know what? Wish you the best. You know, I because really, I don't want also people to think I'm bitter or whatever the case is. And then we didn't talk for like two, three weeks. And throughout that time, I was like pissed in my mind because I'm like the one time I tried and I'm like fuck that's why I'm not jumping nobody fucking DMs no more <laughs> fuck that shit like I, I'm not doing none of that but I tried my best it wasn't like a never doing it again it was a subtle not doing it again it's like okay well have my fun you didn't put too much of a fit into it yeah I didn't put too much in it cause I was but in your like, mind you was like yeah he got me fucked up I was like oh this what was about to be happening when I'm just cause I'm it's just like being on Tinder like yeah. if you really a bad female you're a pretty woman got a lot going on if you're on Tinder it's like for some reason it's kind of unfathomable. Fat, fat, damn, I got fat. fathomable. Yes, I have a lisp, <laughs> y'all. So, um, but that word, and this is like, it's kind of like, oh, she would never be on here. So, let me not treat her like I would treat her if I seen her in person, type thing. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. So anyway, two <laughs> weeks happen, and then you know, like I was just getting over it. I swear to God, because like, like you said, like once I'm invested in somebody, I'm invested in emotion. This is why I don't give my emotions from jump because if you really take that, like I will be drained as a human. Yeah. I will be drained. <clears throat> so. Um, two weeks ago, but I'm just kind of getting over it. This nigga text me. I am back at square one. So yeah, I'm still working. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do with that. So I don't know. So just put on the caption to be continued because it literally is to be continued. I'm going to come back and tell y'all the rest and what happens. Cause he already asked me what I'm doing today. So y'all already know what that means. Okay. So, <laughs> but I'm not going to lie though. I'm not going to lie though. When he texted me, I was like, bitch, you is that bitch. You are that bitch. Like, oh my God. I'm so glad. I don't know. I heard this a long time ago. It was a testimony that, um, the lady that does, um, divorce court. Um, I don't know. Faith. She said that. So long story short, she was like, she wanted to go on to like this um, 
whatever they had like it's not a promise like uh some shit they, like like a, a charter day or whatever and the guy that she wanted to go with um she had asked him to go with him to go with her, with her. Yeah. and um she i mean he said something about like um i would love to but i can't and she was crushed she thought it was about her so for five years or something she was like she was hurt about that situation like cause she, i think she ended up going by herself and this Aww. and that i know sometimes i'm sorry faith if i got it wrong but if i was correct you went by yourself so she went by herself and then she ended up seeing the guy five years later and then he ended up you know how you talk when you haven't seen somebody in a long time that's a long time. that's a long yeah. time but they, it be happening though because it actually happens you know it happens especially when you're living in the same area you see people that whatever you know things have you know y'all have encountered for right. one reason or the other so they were talking and she was like um they were talking and he basically had explained like it, you know he really wanted to go with her but he didn't have a suit or he didn't have. But why didn't you just say that? They were younger, I guess. Or you know, yeah. men back then. I and it's still now. Like instead of just being honest, they don't want to. You know, just hey, I don't have this type of thing, and I get it. I definitely get it. And that's I, I've I've talked, and the more I talk to men, I get that their ego is something they really protect, and I just yeah. have to respect that for what it is. But that that's why I was like, okay, that two weeks I went through that process. I was I kept telling my son, and because of her, I was like. I kept telling myself, it's not you, it's not you, it's not you, it's not you. Because I was, I was really in my brain like, what didn't I give you? Like, what didn't I, what what attention? Yeah, I'm a man. bad female. I gave you attention. We was going out to eat. We was doing everything. Like, we was laughing, joking. It was no bad. Oh, so, Faith helped me through my two weeks. And like I said, to be continued, I just texted him back. So, yeah. <laughs> Okay. You gonna see Keep us updated. Well, I will. I really will because <laughs> they be playing. This is real life. This is really real life. So I know we just on the podcast, but this is real life. So I mean, I I think I'll still, you know, slide into DMs with caution, but caution, big caution. on caution, big big <laughs> caution because Cause you ain't about to be out here hurting my feelings, baby, and having me. And then it's like, nah, yeah, <laughs> fucking with my ego, I can't really do that. So. Right. Yeah, and girls, little females have egos too. So you know, yeah. And then you said your you already said your worst one, right? Okay, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Yikes! Talk about some. I appreciate you. Oh, I wish that should be a whole meme. I appreciate you at the end of the picture. Appreciate you. It's all right. All now right. that I look back, he wasn't even that fine. I'm weak. I want to see him when we no, done. Like, Can I see him? I have to remember his name. His name. I'm mean, yes. still not even rememberable. Sir. But I'm going to look into that for you. Yes. Okay, period. So we're we gonna do another question. Let's start rounding it up. You want me to pick? I could pick. Oh, you what you want? You want to pick on your pick? Because I feel like my, my Rock, paper, that scissors. last one was good. Okay. <laughs> Wait. Paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Wait. <laughs> I'm so tired. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Stop, rock, paper. Okay, oh, wait, wait, come on. last one, last one. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. All right, fuck <laughs> I'll pick one. I'll pick one. God damn, at least we have my great mind stick alike. <laughs> and we weren't even cheating. Oh my God. Okay, tell us a story. Worst date ever. Worst date experience ever. Worst date. And Ooh. why? Ooh, I'm. Okay, I think I got I one. I don't think. I think I, I got one. two. But these was when I was younger, though. Like, as I've been older, like I said, I was in, in like, a long-term relationship, so I didn't really have, okay. like, bad dates with this man. But um, younger, I was single, like, in college. It was, like, my sophomore year or whatever, and I met this guy through Instagram. I should have <laughs> looked him up sooner or whatever. <laughs> but he played for, like, a college basketball team that wasn't too far from my school but he said okay. he like played on a team he was like telling me about his life and all that stuff woo, 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 we were facetime whatever and so we finally like linked up to like go i drove to him to like an hour away or whatever to his school and when i met him in person i was like damn you catfishing no. like he, he <laughs> didn't look like how he looked on the ground okay sorry he was um <laughs> I'm like he he, he he wasn't swagged out he and there's first of all he wasn't there's swagged nothing, out there's nothing wrong with being like a walk-on at like okay. a school or anything like that but he was like talking to me about the season like yeah we about to get live you know what i mean but he was a walk-on like he didn't really, really play. play he didn't have a scholarship or nothing like that but like these are things that like i didn't know but like you're telling to me like you like you're him yeah and so like when i 
got I, when I tell you we went to um because at the time again I, we were younger like sophomores in college uh we went to world of beer it's like a wings place or whatever and I was just trying to look we was like watching a football game that was on like that Sunday I was just trying to watch the tv like so much and not even look at him because like I was just I was not interested I'm like <laughs> I was like this what you not wear when you like me. like I was like and, and it's like not even about more so what he like I just wasn't attracted to him like I thought I was like on the web Disgusted and like when we was FaceTime and stuff like I was just like disgusted why you do me like this? i'm not talking to you when i leave here <laughs> and so you know like of course i talked to him and stuff like but like i slow like we got out of that real quick because i was just like huh like you like and then like when i went into like his dorm and stuff i was like y'all cooped up in this little in ass dirty dorm. ass dorm like i was i was not feeling it so i would say that was that the was worst. like the worst date and it was more so because like i drove far you lied about like who you, you are, are in a sense because it's like you don't have to lie and say like you play like or like you know what I mean you know like you're you're a walk on but like his his dad was like an NBA player or whatever so I guess he was like uh, at some point not at that time so he was like you know trying to I guess live off him in a sense or something I don't know but whatever the case it wasn't cute so that, was, pro- that, that, that was probably my worst date I'm glad you went first because you definitely I was like damn because <laughs> I, I'll lie and say if I don't date, I do I don't anymore like that. But when I did, it was two incidents. One real quick was I remember being with this guy. He was fine. He, brother was fine. He looked good. And I was just, I don't know. That's uh, I don't know. I remember we went out somewhere and it's always that's why guys, it's always skeptical when a guy asks, Are you coming over? Mm. No. Mm. Yeah, I just never trust it. And it's like now that we're older, if we try to say, oh, no, I'm good. They be like, what you scared? You this It's like now it's like a whole nother thing. And the thing like, is, now that I'm older, I will tell you exactly. how. I, no, I'm not scared. No, I don't want to come yeah. to your place. I'm not on that type of time. And that's what it is. And if you do that, yeah. then you're like, oh, why are you so hard? Why are you soft? Oh, shut up. But anyway, so I just remember because it, it was I was say it's a date. I was going to say like people going to people's houses a date, but. You know, after we went out, because it was like a outing, we all, you know, like a party. We came home, and he, I remember I drove, and he drove, so I pulled up to his house, and I was chilling on his bed, and it was a small-ass motherfucking bed, and I was, <laughs> not, it was a small bed, it was just a small room, you know, when the, the room, you can't really walk around, and I was yeah. already like, turned off by that, but here I am trying to, you know, not judge people and just be like, you know, his circumstances, his situation, his situation, He's, he was a good person thus far. So he was like, yeah, I'm about to just go freshen about use the bathroom. Whatever the fuck he was doing, I wasn't really paying attention because I was just chilling. I was more so like, why am I here? Mm-hmm. But I'm just, I'm thinking, I'm in my brain. So he goes to go do his thing. Girl comes back out with a motherfucking ro- like towel around. I am in socks. In socks. So I was just like, what the fuck? And immediately I start laughing. That's what I'm saying. I laugh in of ass positions because I'm like, bro, what the fuck you think? What's going on? And he was like, what you mean? I'm chilling. I'm, we, I'm home. Like, what's going on? And I was like... Okay, I ain't think nothing of it. He he tried to make it seem like nothing was gonna happen. Like like oh, I'm not doing nothing with you. Like we chilling. Like what the fuck? Like trying yeah. to make me seem like I'm crazy. Girl, then literally like didn't even say oh take off your shoes or nothing like that. Just kind of like lay down and watch TV. Just like right next to me. I said yo, if this is not the most awkwardest motherfucking <laughs> fucking date I've ever been on. So immediately, so I kind of was just like so you know what's up? Like you know he was like what you mean? Like like y'all didn't talk or nothing it's, like but we was talking like it was like question because i'm a talkative person like i could talk yeah i'm not i will try to break the weirdness in the room automatically like if i feel it it's not i'm not about to live there with you in awkwardness so i'll be like so i mean you know you know what's what's going on he's like he act then he started acting stupid like he didn't know what the fuck i was talking about he's like what you mean what's you know what's go? you know What's going on? Like I'm dead, full dressed. You're not dressed. Like you're in the bed, laying down, chilling. I'm I'm prompted up like, like this. Yeah, I'm I'm ch- I'm yeah. chilling on the headboard <laughs> while he's here, like more laid down. His head is like you know he's watching TV. So I'm just like was you know he's at, looking at me like he doesn't know what the fuck is going on. So I was just like in my brain, I'm like yeah, I'm about to leave this bitch right now. I'm yeah. like I was so thankful I drove because I didn't really know where I was. And I don't, I feel like this was a couple years ago. I used Uber, but I don't really have the app on my phone back then, but mm-hmm. now I do. So 
I remember I, when I tell you, and I don't remember the way his house was. It's one of those townhouses where you got to kind of walk around to go to your parking spot. So I didn't know where the, I don't remember where the fuck I was going, girl. All I knew I was going to get the fuck up out of there. So I just was like, oh yeah, okay, g- give me one second. I left something in my car. Like, I literally was acting so fucking normal. I was just like, I act like I was looking for something in my purse. And bitch, I was like, I, I said, what the fuck? I, put? I started talking to myself, bitch. I, I'm like, I could really act. <laughs> So I was like, what the fuck? Like, I was like, I don't remember exactly. I'm just like reiterating like my what I know I would have done. I'm like, bro, like, where the fuck is my cut? Like, where the fuck is my keys or my whatever the fuck I was looking for? I was like, give me one second. Like, I'm about to go check in my car real quick. He was like, oh, all right, go. You know what I'm saying? He really was chill. Bitch, ah! Get the fuck up out of there. Oh, I got the. <laughs> no, seriously, I literally put my bag on. I was walking to the car. I wasn't even walking fast because I knew I wasn't coming back. I didn't. I just wanted to walk fast enough because I'm like, I don't know where I'm at. I walked and I got in my car and I was like, got the fuck. I said, I- I'm good at ghosting. Did Never. you block him? I didn't have to. I think oh. he got the point. When I didn't come back, like, he wasn't a dumb nigga. Yeah. That's what threw me off when he was asking him stupid ass questions because I'm like, bro, I was just with you all day. If I felt like you were stupid, I would have never came to your house. Right. So I never seen him again. Then the second one was there was a guy on social media. He still follows me, which is very interesting. I don't know if he's going <laughs> to, I doubt he'll ever see this and really know what I'm talking about him. But it was just like on social media, he was cute. He is cute. He's little. Then no, no I'm not little. <laughs> <laughs> I'm weak as hell. He's fucking small midget. Shit. <laughs> um, sorry, is that? Can I say that word? I can say midget, right? Okay, I'm gonna say fucking all type of shit. But girl, I really just don't be wanting. I'll be trying. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, um, he was on social media and um, he was talking to me. I don't know why something was a red flag because I was going through his pictures, but. And this is why people do investigations and really just ask questions without trying to judge people. But I was looking through his pictures and it was like old pictures. Mm-hmm. Like say we're 2020 and it was from 20, like 18, 17. Oh, and it wasn't was, too when, far. When people, oops, let me not say the word. When people was putting the harsh filters on. No, he didn't have no filter. He just, I, I don't, I ain't know. It was legit ass pictures of him. Legit pictures, working pictures, moving pictures and everything. Hmm. But I was just like. It's just something about social media that it's like, it's it's not everything, but it tells a lot about who somebody is. Yeah. So I was just like, okay, this is two years from, like, why are you on social media? Was you just watching people on social media? You don't post? Nah, my, my ex-boyfriend is like that, though. Like, he, he hasn't posted a picture since, like, 2018. Which is fine. That's why I was like, okay, I gave it, that, 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 yeah. that was me giving it the benefit of the doubt, right? Because some people don't think that we don't be giving the benefit of the doubt and really be trying to figure out what it what is what if it is what it is so i was just like all right but the conversations on the in the dms was good and then i started texting him it was good but something was just not hidden and i don't (laughs) know i don't know at that time if we was if people in general were and this was at least two three years ago i don't know if we were in the facetime me right now type thing if we Mm. were just like you know texting and social media was enough at that point like you was texting and social media so it's like the next thing is like let's meet up or something um, I don't know. Now, now I will quick as fuck to FaceTime somebody if I'm really that skeptical. But, um, girl, long story short, I pull up to his house and I really was actually, um, I was like, and I was enthusiastic about the situation because it was like, he told me he had his own place. So I'm like, okay, you know, you work, you make good money. You got your own place. Perfect. <sighs> Where? Who he live with? Girl, no, it ain't who he live with. Um, when I see that nigga at the door, my motherfucking jaw dropped. Why? A lot could happen to a motherfucking two years. He was, he was him. He was bigger. Face was bigger. Oh, because like he, he had him. He don't really in smile in his pic. Exactly. He don't really smile in his pictures. It seems like he had had, and Lord, uh, forgive me if I'm talking shit about something that happened, like a real situation, but it seemed like his teeth were not his. Like he had dentures in. <laughs> He had dentures in. So I was just like, because it was like the way he was talking, he was like, he couldn't really open his mouth. And it was like when he did, it was it's like. It's giving granddaddy. It's giving, yes. The, the teeth was, <laughs> it was like too clean. It's like, it just looked like, you know, like Chip Skylark and Fairly Our Parents, their teeth, like how they could take their teeth out. It just didn't look like actual teeth. So I was like, okay, I'm not thinking nothing of it. And then it's like, 
the downstairs was okay. It was a two floor bedroom, whatever. And I'm like, okay, let me just fill this out. Like he might just be one of the bigger, you know what I'm saying? Like it wasn't like he was big. It was you just like, it, it, it wasn't attractive. It was not giving it at all. I was like, oh, I feel like I'm about to throw up. I didn't want him to touch me or nothing, but I'm like, bitch, I'm already here. Let me just figure this out. And I don't know how to escape. <laughs> I don't know how to escape. Cause it's like, now he took me upstairs and upstairs was chill. But when I tell you this nigga lived like. The downstairs was okay, but it just gives, it was ashtrays every fucking where. It was dirty, clothes. It just gave us a, a weird ass smell. I was like, yo, what the fuck? Now, I, I couldn't escape like I did the first nigga because he was still a nice guy. The other guy, you already fucked me up with having your shirt off. Now I have no respect for you. But this guy, I, that's what I'm saying. I'm still sensitive to people. If I see that you're really genuinely nice and you don't know what you do, I can't. I can't be mean to you. Like, yeah. I just want to stick it out. <laughs> so I stuck it out, girl. But I was like, I'm never talking to this nigga. Again. <laughs> I ain't life. coming over here no more. Like, for real. <laughs> like, and I, I, I'm, I'm, oh, I can't. I, I sound so fucked up when I'm like, I'm never going to talk. I'm, it's not that I'm never going to talk to you again in my life. It's just more so like, it's never going to be that again. Yes, like, someone, it wasn't giving that. It wasn't you giving were that not again. attractive. I'm not coming over here no more. Period. <laughs> and the crazy thing is that after I left, he, he thought it was a good date. Oh, he thought he it hit was you a, with the, I had such a, a, he such had a, a great good time. time he you. was trying to plan the next things on. And I'm like, oh, no, baby. I, you have fucked it up for the next nigga and the next nigga after that. We going to a restaurant. We going <laughs> some the fuck where. Because, and no, seriously, ever since then, I really, I don't meet niggas at the house. Because you have your own house. And, you know, when you're growing up, you're so excited that a man or a, guy, a, a, a young man has his own place. So I was like, of course. And I think at that time, I have, I've had my place for a long time, too. So I want to be around more people who, damn, uh, thingy. But um, I want to be around more. I'm the, I think we good because this camera's still on. But, um... I want to be around more people that got what I got going on. So the red light isn't on on that though. If that's what okay. she's about to plug it up. Um, so yeah. So when he did that, I sort of, ever since then, that was like the pivotal point in my life where I don't meet men at their house, which was always still a stupid idea. If you ask me, I should have never met, but he, like I said, it was in the daytime. It wasn't a night thing. It was like a four, three, four PM type thing. <laughs> that's awkward in itself. Where, uh, Cause it was supposed to be less chill smoke. And yeah, that's how he, he came off to me. Like we were just chill smoke. I don't know if the game was, something was on. So it was just like chill. And I'm like, all right. And if, if knowing me, don't remember the exact time, it was winter. It had to be something where it's like, let's not do too much. So I went over mm-hmm. there. But ever since then, baby, I've been meeting niggas at restaurants or like somewhere very fucking mutual. And then, you know, I can dip from there. But those are my two experiences. I, I'm pretty sure I've had worse, but those are the two that come to my mind right now. Because I know I'm, <laughs> I, I, I'm crazy, so I know I deal with crazy motherfuckers. But the one thing I do know about that's good about myself is that I don't really try to, re- like, I don't never retain things in order to, like, you know, put it on the next person. Right. So that's why it really do, like, when I think about it, unless I really think about it, I, yeah, that's the only two. And you, you made me think about that. So. that's hilarious <laughs> i came with these guys and yes catfishing is a real thing because so i feel like i got catfished because that's he <laughs> him that was not him girl that was he, not him he, he was him times two times a couple three. years later right times three yeah two, after two kids oh i had to ask him if he had kids wow because he really looked like he had kids and he did no oh uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's he had no damn kids all right y'all so that's the end of this segment. You know, they're trying, I'm not even supposed to be saying segments, I'm supposed to just kind of talk it through. But y'all, I'm learning. This is still a new podcast to me for me. But for breaking records, I want to give you some merch from Arenze Q Clothing. Ooh. I know you got like one or two pieces, but I wanted to add some new stuff. And then I packaged it really better. I've been packaging it very nicely. Ah, cute. Yes. Okay, get so into the bag. That's for you. So you can show them what I kind of gave you. The original you. hoodie. Love a good Let me give everybody the original. This is actually one of my favorite Love prints out of all my designs. But y'all, Cleveland Street is dropping soon. So look Oh, come on now that. with the socks. Yes. I need it socks. Yes. So That's I why I said white or black. Period. So, and you know what's crazy? You said black and I still brought white. That's It's okay. I'm but cool But yes, I, I do want you to crack it though. You know. Thank you. One of these days on the court, you never know. Give me some footage. Put me in a TikTok. I take everything. I got you. Period. Thank you. So yes, thank you again for coming. I appreciate you. And you know why I'm saying that. Of course. But even for this recording, um, I wish you much success on your endeavors. And 
Good luck on everything you got going on. Do you have any last words, any shout outs? Yes. I'm going to say shout out to you because thank you for having me. This podcast is great. I love (laughs) authentic conversation. It's the easiest way to just talk to someone and again, continue to expand on relationships and get to know one another. So I appreciate you for having me. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, y'all. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. I thank you for everyone who's been supporting this podcast thus far. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for the next episode. Peace. Yay! That was good. I felt better about that one. Yeah.